Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So the new Dunlops are out, the whole line of CX200s. I got one that was one of my favorites in the old line, but it's not what you think it is. Stay tuned. All right, so CX200 Dunlop in the old line was one of my favorite control lines of rackets. Now, the one that did really, really well for me was not on the control side though. It was on the kind of oversized side though. Um, the CX200 OS, OS, I was just making sure it wasn't upside down. Um, was one of my best sellers. My buddy Dennis actually plays with it and I'm sure he is waiting for me to give this to him to try. Um, a lot has changed with this racket. The whole build is different. The mold is different. The layup is slightly different. Um, the box beam kind of stays for the control. It is still 105. It is a standard 27 inches. It's approximately 10.9 ounces strung, which is about 309 grams. So here's the thing though, it's about three points head light, which means it's what? Head heavy. So if you're thinking inches, it's about 13, 18. Um, swing weight is 319. So there's gonna be a good amount of plow. Whoa, I feel it already. It's like out here. So here's the, the control part though. It's 63 on the flex. Ooh, I can actually feel it flexing. Huh. And the beam is a constant beam, 21.5. So let's, I mean, they've claimed to have done a lot of great things to the racket. I personally am not a big fan of red, but I do love this kind of orangish, fiery orange. Um, but let's go test it out. All right, Coach Rob, Dunlop CX200 oversized, oversized yeah. brand new mold. Correct. Have you ever tried a, when was the last time you tried a Dunlop? Uh, it's been a while, but I think we did some Dunlops not super, super long ago, but. Yeah, it's been a little while. Yeah, it's been a little while. There was a reason why I wanted you to specifically try this one. Um, you had asked me for uh, a racket similar to this in the Wilson line. Right. And I was like, let's try this one too. And uh, I thought this felt quite different than that one. Right. But I'll let you describe what you felt. Yeah, no, um, it felt, it, 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 the first few hits felt pretty good because I found the sweet spot and I could feel the just the bang right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, had a nice plow, the weight was pretty good. Um, it. You know, I was kind of thinking it might have been similar to a Blade 104. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I, I had some a uh, couple guys who used them and were looking to potentially replace them. So, um, yeah, this would be something for them to try and give a shot and see what they think um, using it. What did you think of the the power and the feel of it? It had pretty good power. Like I know a few shots went a little long on me and. Um, the feel felt pretty good. You know, these guys I wouldn't have strung for a poly for them, but um, at least the ones I'm thinking of, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so it felt good. I strung it with um, a racket, we'll just keep confidential, at probably slightly on the lower tension, freshly strung at 52. Uh, after trying it and after seeing you hit with it, I feel like I should have dialed it up a little bit to maybe 55 or 56 because uh, it was pretty lively in this racket. Right. 
I felt like the weight was a lot of it up here. Yep. A lot of it was definitely in the head, a la hammer. You, you let it go and it just finish it up for you. Yep, <laughs> follow through. You get it started, it'll do the rest. Mm -hmm. And it's a little stiffer than the, the number indicates because it, it's pretty firm. Right. Um, the Was layup it on it, three. Okay. Yeah. So that's not high. I mean, and it's a standard 27 length. So you would think maybe As with it a, should be. Yeah. With a, I mean, you would think with a half inch or three quarters of an inch longer, you get a little more power. But there's actually plenty of power in this particular racket. This actually brings me back to a couple rackets. Um, one would be Radical Oversize. Kind of feels like that. Uh, it's a one. Well, radical Oversize is a 107. Um, and then it also brings me back to that Don A that, uh, That's going <laughs> that back. Agassi used to use, the, the pink one. The pink one? Remember the pink one? You don't remember the pink one? I don't you? remember that Come one. Come on, dude, you're my age. Sorry. Remember, I... he was like all radical and, and you know, the rebel. The rebel right. racket. Yeah, I no, call I... it the rebel racket okay. from Don A. So it reminds me of those, kind of slight, slightly bigger head, but meant for like a pro level, pro oh, style was it, player. Was it towards... Where was it in his career? It was middle? right before head. Oh, okay. It was right before head. Okay. After, after Prince. After Prince. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I can picture it now. So it's a la Prince Graphite a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys are... Now, now I'm with you. <laughs> so if you guys are wanting like slightly oversized, you want a little more surface area, 105, a little more power. You're used to that slightly bigger head, yet you want to plow and you don't want to add weight. I think this is the perfect one for you um, if you're of that build, okay? So go Rebel, go Agassi. I think if Agassi were to play today, this would be his racket. I don't know if Dunlop would be his company, but that might be his racket. <laughs> Coach Rob, thank you for uh, doing this test with me. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll give that out to uh, your kids and let's see what, what they think of it. Yeah, and adults. Oh, yeah, that's right. So yep. um, I think for higher level women, this would work. Um, lower level women might be too much plow for them, um, my opinion. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Great match as ever. Oh man, thank you so much. Next week, same time, same bat channel. All right, my buddy Hanlon and I have been playing for over 20 years with each other. I'm so glad that I have found my tennis buddy. And we just happened to kind of started playing, right? So the number one problem with tennis is if you don't have a buddy like Hanlon, you don't play tennis. Because I wouldn't have been able to play for 20 years without him. And that's when player court comes in. There's over 27,000 people registered that you can play with. Just check out playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. There's a tennis buddy waiting for you.